Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode. Today we'll continue our garage adventures with the search for the best oil filters. The first product that we'll examine is Bosch filter, which is a premium brand and is made in Germany. The next one is Purflux, which was highly requested in the first episode due to its interesting media design. The brand is also premium and it's made in France. The last one is Starline, and this is the cheapest oil filter I could find, at 2 euros. This filter is made in... Uh, it's made somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where, as this information is missing from the packaging. Let's start with an overview of each one, starting with Bosch, after which we'll put them to the real tests. From the first impressions, the filter made by Bosch looks very similar to the MAN filters, with high quality construction and seals. If you haven't seen that episode, you can find a link in the description to that video where I compared MAN filters with Kinect, also known as Male filters. These O-rings are very flexible with no burrs on them and the build quality is very robust. This similarity with MAN is due to the fact that Bosch and MAN owned Purolator filters and the manufacturing process was most likely shared between them until 2013 when MAN bought the rest of the shares from Bosch. As we're gonna see in a few minutes, the big difference is in the media. Regarding the dimensions of this product, it has 77 folds, resulting in a surface area of 1971.2 square centimeters, and the media thickness is 0.82 millimeters. We'll compare all the data collected in a very nice table in a few moments after we finish all the tests. In order to see the internal structure, we need to cut it in half. Looking inside, the resemblance to MAN continues, both having the same spiral film design that helps to trap particles in the media. The media has a somewhat glossy appearance and I presume that this is because the filter uses a composite material for it, that is made out of fiberglass and cellulose fibers. I'm not sure if this is the case because I could not find any official information in order to confirm this, but we'll take a closer look at the fiber structure shortly so you can see what I'm talking about. Moving on to the next brand, Perflux, which is owned by Sogefi, an Italian company. Immediately we can see that the design is different from all other filters that we tested. Normally this chevron design increases the surface area of the filters, which means it can last longer due to its higher particle retention capacity. And with 55 folds that are 140 by 16 mm, the surface area is indeed bigger at 2464 square centimeters. The media thickness is 0.76 mm. As the previous brand, Perflux has a very robust construction and it's high quality. Taking a look at the inside, we can see that the filter doesn't use a spiral fin design seen before or any other fin whatsoever. It does have a straight pattern on the internal plastic core which channels the oil vertically, but I believe that the fin design is better at increasing the retention capacity. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Now the Starline filter, which is a Czech brand and is owned by the LKQ Corporation. Honestly, at first look it doesn't feel like a budget filter that only costs 2 euros, but examining it you can see that some corners were cut in bringing the cost down. The plastic construction is somewhat poor, with the stem breaking under slight pressure. The seal did not break under tension, but they do have some small burrs on the surface. On the inside we can see that this filter has the same spiral fin design as MAN and Bosch, so thumbs up for that. The surface area of this filter is 1987.2 square centimeters with 69 folds and the media thickness is 0.78 millimeters. Now let's put these filters to the test and we'll start with the flow rate. In this test I've cut samples from each one and placed them at the end of a funnel and 100 mm of oil was then heated to 100 degrees Celsius and poured into the funnel. The timer will start when the oil passes the blue spacer and will stop when the oil level goes under this spacer. This test illustrates the capacity of a filter to maintain a high flow rate which is vital to an engine. The higher the flow rate, the better it will be to an engine. If the filter constrains the oil flow too much, it can break under the pressure and pieces from the media can clog oil passageways. Nobody wants that. Perflux is first. So 
Starline is second and the last is Bosch. In the next test, media samples from each filter were placed in oil and left 3 hours in the oven to see what happens to the filter when they are exposed to high temperature found in the engine. I have even created a testing jig for this that will test the tensile strength of the media, but this test was a failure and should not be taken into account when choosing an oil filter. Mm, you may be wondering why. Well, after I finished filming, I've noticed that the thermostat was broken and the oil was heated to 250 degrees Celsius. There is absolutely no way that an oil filter is going to be exposed to this temperature in normal cars, but I decided to keep the footage and show you how to properly cook your filters. As you can see, both Knecht and Perflux were very brittle and broke at first touch. Well, no wonder. start line was slightly better, but just slightly. Mand it better if you can say that and required some additional force to rip apart the media. And finally Bosch, which required the most force to rip. Next is the filtration test, in which we will subject the filters to real-world use with the help of my contraption. 200 liters of oil will be cycled through the filters and this will simulate about 10 minutes of engine idle. The oil is heated to 50 degrees Celsius by an electrical heater and we will start with Bosch. We will see that the flow rate changes depending on the filter's use, although the oil pump maintains a constant speed. Immediately after the test is started, 6.4 grams of metal powder is added to the circuit, which would be very bad in a real scenario. Once the test is finished, the filter is removed and set aside so we can cut it and take a very close look at the particles trapped in the media. Next is pour flux, which will get the same treatment. The oil is poured into the glass bottle, then it is sucked through the filter and goes back down through the flow meter towards the oil pump. The pump pushes it back into the bottle, which is heated and the cycle repeats.
Very nice particle distribution by the Perflux Media. Maybe it doesn't need that spiral fin design on the inside after all. Lastly, the Starline filter. As before, the cartridge filter is inserted into the housing and oil is added to the circuit. I need to remove some oil from the system after each test before removing the filter, otherwise the oil spills are over. The metal powder is added next and this is made out of nickel, chrome and iron particles that were formed by atomization and have a control dimension range of 10 to 45 microns, which is perfect for testing oil filters. It's quite incredible that they can produce this filter that cheap. There may be cheaper filters out there, but I could not find any that are compatible with my housing. Starline is kind of a do-it-all brand, and I discovered that they produce even electrical components. Ok, so the tests are over, now it's time to compare the results. We'll start with a closer look at the Bosch filter media. The glossy appearance that I've mentioned earlier seems to be from a compound material found in the media. Compound means that the media is made out of fibroglass and cellulose fibers. We can see that the fibers are uniform and particle retention is very good. Next is Perflux, which has a similar media to MAN. Being thinner than Bosch, we are able to see the white background through the media. Retention is good with many particles trapped between the fibers. Now for the last one, Starline, which has a pretty good fiber structure. The distribution of the particle is concentrated more towards the interior fold, but other than that, it looks good. Now for a side-by-side -side comparison of these three filters at the same magnification. We can see that Bosch has a more consistent gap between the fibers. Now let's add the previous tested filters to this side-by-side -side comparison. You can clearly see that Bosch and Connect have the thickest media and MAN having the thinnest. As promised, here are all the data collected in a very nice table, yes. The best values are in green and worst are in red. The Bosch filter has a very effective media structure, but it doesn't perform that well in the flow test. In my opinion, I believe that this filter is a good choice, but it should be replaced more often. Because as the filter is exposed to high temperature for long durations of time, they become brittle and oil flow can rip apart the media, even more so if the filter has poor oil flow. The Perflux filter has a large surface area, which make it suitable for use with long life oil where the change interval is higher. This filter also did very well in the flow rate test and it's a very good choice. The budget Starline filter performed better than I expected from a 2 euro filter. It does not excel at anything, but it's neither the worst. The media structure is decent and has a relatively large surface area. The build quality is somewhat poor and I would not trust it for long durations of time. But if you change your oil and filters more often, I believe you can make it work. I really enjoyed making these tests as they give us a perspective over the quality versus price and allow us to choose the best products for our money. Marketing and preconceptions about a product do not tell the full story, and if a manufacturer states that their product is good, they should provide the evidence to prove that. Next time that a product is recommended to you as being the best, ask how they know that. Usually you won't get an answer. Thank you to all my supporters over Patreon, Adi Ionescu, Adrian Necu, Paul Max and Adrian Santu and of course to all of you who are watching, liking and sharing my videos. If you are new feel free to look around at other episodes that I have uploaded and if you like what I do please consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. Until next time I wish you have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.